Hi there, Robin here, and in this video we're going to be talking about these speakers right here, which happen to be from Pile. They are the PLMRX 68 LEW for white and LEB for black. Now these are light up speakers, they are six and a half. They have a little bit more depth and throw to them, so they work really well if you're putting them on a small amplifier or if you've got a really high power head unit. Uh, they just do a really good job of filling in the space with sound. When you buy the actual LED package, you're gonna get a bunch of stuff with it. You're gonna get the actual speaker wires, uh, regular length, probably about 12 feet each, and they already have the spades on them. Pretty straightforward for a nice set of free wires in the box. And I say free because a lot of companies don't even include speaker wires in the box. They leave that completely up to you. But if you are going to upgrade it, you want to go to a 14 gauge because right now you're going to get yourself a 20 gauge wire here. You may decide to keep the spades and keep the first six inches and uh, just replace the rest of it. Makes life a lot easier. You're going to be getting a three meter. That's uh, about uh, 10 feet of RGB cable to connect your two speakers together. You're going to get a controller to control your multicolor light system, and it's an RF. What that means is you're going to not have to worry about line of sight. This can get buried, of course, which is where it's going to be behind one of the speakers. You're going to get the credit card remote. Do not lose this because this is the remote that's going to change all the colors on your speakers. And you can, of course, choose solid colors as well. You're going to get eight actual treated screws, so this way they don't rust, and that's part of the package. And of course, you're going to get either two white or two black, depending on the color you order. Now, like I was saying before, the speakers actually sound pretty good. Uh, in the six and a half inch category, probably one of their better products. It's got a tweeter in the front and a woofer, of course, and they're very easy to install. All plastic bodied. Uh, these are exactly the same as the PLMR X67, which is a very popular speaker for them. The difference is the 68 has the light package options with it. Now, hooking these up, very important. The original package model that came out had traditional just push on connectors for the multicolor setup. Problem with that was, is that if whatever it was, especially if it was in a boat, if it got shaken around, if, if you did not tape them together to secure them or use any type of crazy glue to make sure those connections stayed, they would fall apart and you'd lose your light show. Now they've actually upgraded the connectors on the system. Now you have a pinch lock system. So this way they're not gonna fall apart. Now for hooking these up and then we'll actually see what it looks like. The controller itself has two actual cables that come off of it. One for the first speaker we're gonna use and we'll say that's the white one for today. We'll turn that upside down. We'll be able to take this and now lock this on here properly. The intent is now we have a second cable coming off and we're gonna be able to run that to the second speaker. We're gonna break out the cable. Now, if this isn't long enough, if 10 feet isn't long enough for you, this is just standard RGB cable. It's all color coded, four wires, black, green, red, blue. You can either do one of two things. You can either buy some more of this online or if you decide not to use your actual speaker wire, as long as you follow the color codes, so of course, blue to blue, red, red, green, green, black, black, I can use all this leftover wire to make this another 10 feet longer if need be. So for now we have our 10 foot cable. What are we gonna do? We're going to now plug this into here and here we are. So now we're gonna be able to add the extension into it. Make sure you line that up. And as per the manufacturer's standard of giving you 10 feet, the next speaker has to be within 10 feet of each other. So you are gonna to wanna to make sure you check your cable measurement before you cut any holes in the boat if you don't want to extend that cable. And all we need to do at that point is come over to our second speaker, check to make sure our pins are straight. It's always good to just have a visual inspection of it. If the pins look crooked, uh, you may have a little bit of issue getting it. You are going to get it plugged in, but you may just have to actually put some effort into it and straighten those pins out. And that's it. So now the two speakers are hooked up the way they're supposed to be. So now we just need to apply power. So any power source on the boat will actually work. It's something that's on an accessory switch, so it turns off and on. Uh, so this way you don't forget these speakers on when you actually leave the boat would probably be a better way. So again, we're just adding our actual transformer here to make it work here. And there we go. So right now it appears to be in white. So we're gonna take the remote and we're gonna give that a little whirl and see if pressing blue makes it blue. Yes, it does. Look at that, we've got blue, we've got red, even makes a yellow an aqua, pink, any color you want So at this point. And now you can even hit the demo button and it's gonna do its light show for you automatically. Now, 
Also important here to note, if you buy another set of speakers, so your intention is to have four of these on the boat or six or eight of them, you are going to have to pay attention to the controller. You'd probably want to wire it all back to one controller. It's a little bit more work because there's no actual sync cable to line all the speakers up together. So you can actually, because there's so few lights per speaker and this will actually carry quite a load. It'll carry easy up to 32 feet of light. So it's a good starting platform, but I would want to basically connect off of all the existing wiring to get all the actual speakers working off the same light controller and same remote control. So it is a little bit more work because you do have to tie it all back into one set of RGB wires so you can run it off of one remote control. But outside of that, it works out really good. I mean, these are quite the bargain when it comes to speakers, especially with lights in them. There is better options out there, but it's gonna be twice the price to do anything better than this. So for a lot of people, they wanna have four speakers, they wanna have them all light up, and this is a really good way to do it. Now, again, you can run these off your head unit, but you're not gonna be taking full advantage of the actual speaker if you use these speakers on a small amp or on a bigger ramp, if your intention is to run, let's say, four six and a halves on just two channels, that would probably be a really good way to go. So that's pretty much everything. Again, that is the PLMR X68 LEW, W for white. And over here we have the 68 LEB. Uh, and if you don't want the light show, there is also an option called the PLMR X67 which has been a, a big, big seller for Pile. And again, this was built off of that platform. So that pretty much covers everything for these speakers. I hope this video helped you out today in your buying decision. Maybe we'll see you in the next video. And I'd like to say thank you for watching and bye for now.